the 22 season, certainly with the drought and the temperatures that we faced along with that drew a lot of similarities for folks to 1980. I didn't have to experience that particular season, but I've heard about it my entire life and that was a reminder of how difficult it is to manage rice under those conditions and really every any any little mistake that occurred during the season seemed to be exaggerated by the fact that we were fighting that drought throughout the year the the irrigation timing of course played a huge role and even when we thought we were irrigating adequately uh, found out the hard way unfortunately that oftentimes that we weren't under those conditions because the water demand was just so high last year. Uh, my go-to talking point for the 22 season has been as we move into 23, I'm not going to spend much time looking back. Anything that I may have hoped we could learn from the 22 season goes back to the impact of the drought. So for the 23 season so far, we have a little bit of rice planted. Uh, it, it started with certainly just a, a very isolated field here or there in, in what happened to be a dry spot. I always say with rice planting, getting started is the hardest part. So just trying to get a field or two in where you can worry about making sure all your equipment is set and performing properly and all those things. And then if that's all we get in for a window, that's fine. When the next window arrives, we're, we're really set up and ready to go as temperatures warm and, and give us the next one. Our biggest problem with rice, with, with a lot of our, our early season inputs and seed treatments, there's not a lot of risk to getting planted at, at, once you get to the latter part of March, like the last two weeks of March, I don't, I don't like it before that. There, there is a kind of a cutoff there. Uh, but kind of from then on, it's, it's any time we get a chance that it's dry enough to, to do a good job putting it in the ground, we need to take that opportunity. Because once we start turning into May, that's when some, some greater risk shows up. So we're looking at an increase in rice acres, but we're definitely looking at a jump from the past two years, we're at 1.2, then 1.1 million acres and the current crystal ball would be 1.3 million for this year. Potentially higher, the month of April is definitely gonna drive that. The weather, does it dry up enough to get on an earlier run so we're not pushing on into May and that's when we start looking at uh, running out of time on rice. I still feel pretty comfortable. Commodity prices are staying strong enough and competitive enough that I still feel comfortable, but they're highly volatile at the moment so that, that seems to be changing every few days. Uh, which direction to lean, which actually that uncertainty is, helps frankly keep us with our intended plantings at this point, in my opinion. And we harp on this every year, but a reliance on early and overlapping pre-emergence herbicides to, to keep our weed control started on the right foot and, and not be playing catch up as the year goes on with more expensive post-emergence applications. Since fertilizer prices are in a little better shape, um, we're, we'll hopefully return, we were doing some more kind of pulling back on rates the past couple of years. Uh, hopefully guys will, will take the opportunity to at least get closer to the normal recommended rates of P and K. And then most don't cut back on nitrogen even when it gets a little more expensive because that is the yield driver for rice. But again, focusing on getting those nitrogen rates and timings correct, uh, avoiding the use of other products that are supposedly adding value but, but have additional costs that maybe aren't necessarily proven at this point, keeping that out because it is still going to be an expensive crop this year. Even with those improvements in fertilizer and fuel prices, the, the, the budgets are still uh, not, not, as, not as good as we would want to see at this point. So we've got to try to maximize that profitability still.